In 2023, we took a Viking Mediterranean Italian sojourn cruise. It started in Barcelona, Spain to Sede and Marseille, France, Monaco, then we hit Florence, Pisa, Rome, Naples, Pompeii, Messina, Sicily, Crotone and Bari, Italy, Sabina, Croatia, ending in Venice, Italy. Of the three places that we got to see while docked in Monte Carlo, this was by far the best. Actually, this place was one of the best of all the places we went to. This is a place you could spend all day at, just roaming around and looking at the things and going inside the shops. You get great views. This is probably a great place to spend the night, but I'm sure you have to be very careful while walking around here because some of these walkways are narrow, steep, and they're all stone. Ease is a gorgeous medieval village on a rocky hilltop overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. The village of Ease was built over 400 meters above sea level, so there are amazing views. Ease Village, lying between Nice and Monaco, is actually two villages on three levels. The lowest is Ease sur Meur, if I'm saying that correctly, which runs has the Nice-Monaco railway lines running to it. And then 427 meters higher is Ease the Medieval Village, built on the very top of a hill, and is today one of the places on the French Riviera's most visited by tourists. This area was occupied not only by the Romans, but also the Moors, who held the area for approximately 80 years until they were driven out by William of Provence in 973. By 1388, Ease fell under the jurisdiction of the House of Savoy, who built up the town as a fortified stronghold because of its proximity to Nice. The history of Ease became turbulent several times in the next few centuries as French and Turkish troops seized the village in 1543. Louis XIV of France destroyed the walls surrounding the city in 1706 in the War of the Spanish Succession. Finally, in April of 1860, Ease was designated as a part of France by unanimous decisions by the people of Ease. I'm sure that during that time, it was fairly unusual for the people to actually get to choose who they're going to be ruled by. Usually towns, cities, city-states were shifted back and forth at the whims of those who were in power, not by the people. You can tell that the people who live and work here take great pride in their village. It, it would have been amazing to have stayed here at least one night. It's a whole different world. As a matter of fact, when you are here, it doesn't feel like ease is part of the world. It's just like the rest of the world doesn't exist. It's just this village. When you're walking around, some of the walkways are only wide enough for one person to walk carefully. I can't imagine how armed and armored armies got up here. There was some work going on, but the workmen had to move everything by hand, one item at a time. No elevators, no escalators, no stairs to get these materials up there, except for these stone stairways.
All I can say is this is a great place to visit. And if you're ever in the area, a side trip here would be well worth the ride.